animation basics. Okay, let's make a bouncing ball. Pen tool, let's draw a little circle. Two points on top of each other. Open it up with double tapping U. Increase the stroke width. Change the color so that you can see it. I'm gonna have a nice red. Change the cap to a round cap. There you have a ball. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Call this ball. Click Y and then you can drag the anchor point down to the bottom of the ball. Okay, let's get animating. P for position. Right click on the word position and click separate dimensions. Now you have the X position and the Y position. With the X position, when you change the number, what you control is going left to right. With the Y position, when you change the number, you control going up or down. I'm gonna pop the ball down here and then create a Y position keyframe. Click B and that will change where the preview begins. Now I'm gonna go forward about half a second, create another Y position keyframe, zoom in and go halfway between these and holding down shift and pressing up on the arrow key, I'm gonna put the ball up here. Then right click on this middle keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then if you go to the last keyframe and then one left from that and then tap N, that will form a perfect loop. You see, if the end was here, that means that we would include this keyframe in our loop. And this keyframe is identical to this keyframe. So that would mean that the ball is on the floor for two frames. We only want it on the floor for one frame. So we move the end of the preview along by one frame like that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks pretty nice, but maybe we can increase the easing. I want this ball to stay in the air a little bit longer. Tap the middle keyframe, go into graph editor. With this middle keyframe selected, drag this left little uh, handle to the left and then drag this little right handle to the right. Now, as you can see, the ball stays in the air a little bit longer. By easing this keyframe at the top, we're changing the timing of where the ball is gonna be, kind of condensing the keyframes nearer the top. Now what I'm gonna do with the blue line over the last keyframe, not here, not here, but here over the last keyframe, I'm gonna copy and paste all of these keyframes. Then I'm gonna put the blue line over the last keyframe again, copy and paste these. And then I'll do it one more time. Then I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna set the loop somewhere over here on the right hand side of all the keyframes. What does that look like? Okay, six bounces, all of them identical. Now I'm gonna to go to the beginning, set a keyframe for the X position, then I'm gonna go over here near the end of the preview range, and then I'm gonna make another X keyframe. Go to the beginning again, grab that X position keyframe, and hold down shift and the left arrow key. We're gonna push the ball off screen, and then we're gonna grab this last X keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, ease in. Now let's see how that looks. Okay, it's a bouncing ball and it's coming in off screen. Why doesn't it look right? Well, let's talk about energy. With every bounce, this ball is losing energy. That means every time it goes in the air, it should be lower than the previous bounce. Okay, so let's adjust the height of the bounces. What I'm gonna do is highlight each of these eased keyframes, hold down shift and then just click on it. And I'm gonna move them all down to about half the height of this first bounce here. And then holding down shift, I'm just going to deselect this one and move the blue line over this one. Or maybe I'll even move it over this last one so I don't have to keep moving it. I'm going to move them all down half the height of this previous one. So uh, down here. Okay, now I'm going to deselect this one and move them down half the height of this one. Do the same with these last two, half the height. Except maybe for this last one, I will just uh, move it like a couple of pixels above being flat. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. But why doesn't it look 100% correct? Well, each bounce needs to get quicker. So I'm going to highlight these keyframes. One, two frames there. And then I'm also going to move these frames. One, two, there. And just make the gap in between these keyframes smaller and smaller. But make sure it's the same either side of this eased keyframe. until eventually it will probably be one keyframe either side. Let's have a look. Okay, it's a little bit uh, off screen, so uh, just move this X keyframe over so that we can see a bit more of the animation. Maybe this X keyframe needs to be a bit closer. Change the preview time with N. Okay, 
Maybe we can move this X keyframe even further across and then move this first keyframe to the left so that it comes in at a peak. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Another thing you can add is squash and stretch. We do that by changing the scale of the ball. S for scale, unlink these by clicking that, create a new keyframe, press U to show all keyframes. And when we go forward to this keyframe where it's on the floor, create a new keyframe, go one to the left, holding down command and left, create another keyframe there, and then go to the left again, command and left, create another keyframe there. Now go one to the right, and on this keyframe, we're gonna stretch this ball up like that, and then also make it thinner. It's like a kind of smear frame. And then here on the next frame, we're gonna make it flat because it's just hit the ground. So flatter and wider. And then on this next keyframe, copy and paste this previous one so that it's tall and thin. One frame ahead, copy and paste the original keyframe so that the scale is 100 by 100. Now that is not gonna look right because as you can see, we have a nice arc. And the angle of the ball isn't following the arc. It's pointing straight up when it should be pointing to the left a little bit. Tap R for rotation, create a new keyframe. Tap U to show all keyframes. Go over to this middle keyframe, create a new rotation keyframe. Then go forward to this long thin one and then rotate it to the left so that the top follows the arc. And then go forward two keyframes and then rotate it forward so that it follows this next arc. Maybe this scale doesn't actually need to be as extreme as the previous one. Let's see how that looks. Maybe instead of stretching suddenly over one frame, we can drag this first frame out so that it stretches over a couple of frames. Maybe that makes more sense. And then equally we can delay this frame so that it returns to its original scaling over two frames instead of just one. The next time it lands on the floor, make the rotation zero. Let's see how that looks. Maybe we should uh, squash and stretch it again. Just copy and paste these keyframes. Make sure this middle one is lined up with uh, when it hits the floor. And let's just make the uh, squash and stretch less extreme each time. This should be following the arc. Let's make that less extreme. Copy and paste that. Rotate it so that it uh, follows the path a little bit better. And then go forward, and next time it's on the floor, make the rotation zero. See how this looks. I'll just do it real quick, just make a keyframe there. When it's on the floor, I'll just flatten it just a little bit like that. Next keyframe, I'll make it 100% again. This one could be a little bit flatter. Okay, it's a ball and naturally it's rolling, but we can't actually see it rolling. So how do you attach a design to this ball? Well, I'm gonna draw a little design, uh, just a bunch of lines really. Open it up, double tap U, open up the stroke, color it black, thin out these lines, and try and place the anchor point somewhere in the center of the ball. You can use Y to change the anchor point or you can just move the shape so that the anchor point is there if you think that the design is correct there. I'm just gonna scale it down so that more of the design is on the ball. Highlight design, effect, channel, set mat, and then take mat from layer, ball. Now, the design is only visible over this layer. You can move the design anywhere you want and you'll only see it where that layer exists. Now, with the anchor point near enough the center of the ball, press R on design, and then make a rotation keyframe. Now you can uh, parent the design to the ball so that wherever the ball goes, the design also goes. But then when we go back, go back to the beginning of these keyframes, create another rotation keyframe for the design, and put it back into the minuses. I don't really know the number, so I'm just gonna guess. Go over here, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. Let's see how it looks. Okay, the rotation looks all right. 
maybe it could be a little bit more. So I'm just going to rotate it back a little bit more with this blue line hovering over this first rotation keyframe. Okay, that kind of works. There you have it, a bouncing ball. Hi everyone! If you like that tutorial, feel free to check out my Patreon for monthly animation tutorials. There are tutorials available for everything you can see on screen right now, and you can find a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, cheers!